Thirty minutes later, Kamehameha, shouted Goku, delivering the final blow to Thor. Damn, all right, I can say, for now, you're the strongest, Thor admitted, lying on the ground. For now, Goku replied, extending a hand to help Thor up. He he, this power is the result of my daily training, and this fight will only make me stronger, Goku said, shaking Thor's hand. The Avengers headed back to the base. Wow, they finally finished. At times, I thought they'd destroy us all, Sam said. He he, sorry about that, guys, Goku replied. So, how did it go? Natasha asked. Goku won for now, Thor admitted, already planning more training to become the strongest Avenger. That was expected, comma, everyone murmured. Hey, Thor said, feeling slightly offended. Goku moved away from the group to talk to Carol. Hello, Carol, Goku greeted. Hi, Goku. So, do you want to do something? Carol asked. Of course. What should we do? Goku replied with a smile. Well, we'll see, Carol said. Let's go to the room. We can watch movies, Carol suggested. Sure. I'll get the drinks and popcorn, Goku offered. Thirty minutes later. Sorry for the delay, Carol. I had to go buy them, Goku said, entering with two soft drinks and some popcorn. No worries. For a moment, I thought you'd forgotten, Carol teased. I'd never forget something like that, Goku said, smiling. I know, love. Anyway, I was looking for a good movie, Carol replied. They settled down to watch the movie, with Carol resting her head on Goku's chest as he hugged her. Goku, can I ask you a favor? Carol asked. Of course, Goku responded. I want you to train me to make me stronger, Carol said. Of course, I'll train you. Thor might ask me to train him too, Goku replied. Well, then we can start tomorrow, Carol suggested. Definitely, love. Goku said, smiling at her. Two hours later, what did you think? Carol asked. It was interesting. I can't believe that the alien prince was a traitor. He seemed so friendly, Goku said. Yeah, I thought the same. I think there's a sequel we can watch another day, Carol replied. Sounds good. For now, we should head back to the others, Goku suggested. Yes, let's go, Carol agreed. They rejoined the Avengers downstairs. Wow, Carol, did you have fun? Wanda whispered to Carol with a mischievous grin. It's not what you think, Carol replied, blushing. The girls chuckled while the guys gathered near the pool. What's going on over there? Goku asked, noticing the setup near the pool. Hey, Goku, Tony said we're having a party, Steve explained. Oh, got it, Goku replied. One hour later, the Avengers gathered to start the party. Goku, there'll be alcohol. Just don't drink too much, okay? Carol advised. Don't worry, love. Even if I drank 1,000 liters, I wouldn't get drunk. Alcohol doesn't affect me, Goku said. Really? Why? Carol asked. I don't know. Maybe my sane genes, Goku replied. I see, Carol nodded. Can I ask you something? Goku inquired. Of course, love, Carol answered. You don't just want to get stronger, right? There's something else, Goku observed. Carol sighed. Yes, I think there might still be scrolls on Earth and there's a chance that someone dangerous could still be out there. I want to be ready. I know you can do it. You're really strong, Goku said, making her smile. Ladies and gentlemen, the party has arrived. Tony shouted as he led everyone to the pool. The party kicked off, and everyone enjoyed themselves, laughing and dancing. The next morning, whoa no, how much did we drink? Tony groaned, rubbing his head. There's no alcohol left. That says everything, Goku said, tossing Tony a bottle of water. Goku, I envy your ability to not get drunk, Steve said, also holding his head. Carol, you could have stopped us, Natasha said. I tried, but I couldn't, Carol replied, handing out bottles of water. You two handle alcohol way too well, Wanda commented. Suddenly, Tony's phone rang. Yes, of course, as you say, Tony answered before ending the call. Goku, Steve, I need you to come with me. And Banner too, Tony said. For what? Goku asked. There are reports of people affected by residual energy from the last battle. There might even be mutations, Tony explained. I figured it wouldn't be that simple, Goku muttered. Even good actions have consequences, Steve replied. Well, let's go, Banner said. See you, Carol. I have to go, Goku said, giving her a quick hug. Take care. See you later, Carol said with a smile. I have a surprise for you later. Really? What is it? Goku asked curiously. You'll see tonight. Bye. Carol waved as the Avengers left. At a nearby facility, Mr. Stark, thank you for coming, the doctor greeted. What's the situation? Tony asked. One of the affected individuals escaped before you arrived, 
The doctor informed them. And the others? Goku asked. They're here. But we just heard something from one of the rooms, the doctor said. The team entered the room to find a man whose skin had turned to stone. Oh no. Ben? The doctor gasped. What happened to me? Ben asked. His voice panicked. You were affected by cosmic energy, the doctor explained. After 15 minutes of explanations, the doctor continued. The others will wake up soon. Mr. Banner, please stay to assist with the examination. Of course, Banner agreed. Mr. Stark, could you speak with Reed about the situation? The doctor requested. What should I do? Tony asked. Explain what happened before things get worse. Mr. Rogers, please check on Johnny. And Mr. Goku, could you look in on Sue? The doctor instructed. How do you know me? Goku asked. I'm a former S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. The doctor replied. All right. Let's go, Goku said, leading the way. With Reed. After 10 minutes, Reed Richards woke up, disoriented. Stark, what are you doing here? Reed asked. Tony explained the situation in brief. So you're saying a powerful being snapped his fingers? And the energy affected us? Reed questioned. Yes, Tony confirmed, rubbing his temples. With Johnny. Johnny was also awake, and Steve explained the situation. Crazy, but you're right. I literally caught fire. Johnny admitted. Exactly. We'll talk more soon, but we need to check on the others, Steve said. With Goku and Sue. Sue slowly opened her eyes and saw Goku, who reassured her. I'm a friend, here to check on you. After explaining the situation, Sue hesitated but accepted his words. Your hair looks interesting, Sue commented. People tell me that, Goku replied. Then, he noticed something. Sue, you're disappearing. What? Don't be silly, Sue said. But when she looked at her hands, they had vanished. She quickly covered herself with her robe as Goku looked away, blushing. Let's get back to the doctor for an examination, Goku suggested. Yes. Let's go. Sue agreed. Still a little embarrassed but smiling, they returned to the doctor to assess the effects of the energy on them all. 